Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naza Ugala, vlogging from Umuahia, Abia State. Guys, in today's video, I am going to please say, <laughs> guys, I don't know if you have seen the excitement of my face. This is because please say is my beloved hometown, and in today's video, I'll be traveling from Umuahia to Mbise. If it's something you would like to watch, please do watch. Watch this video to the end. And don't forget to like this video and also share it if you like it and give it a thumbs up. We're going through seven and a half through Obo and then to Ahera Junction. So, guys, if you're from Umbise, you will certainly like this video. We're going to be passing at Chingali, Agunese, and so many other villages. Please don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and I do hope you enjoy this video. So guys, this time around, we started this journey immediately after the Imo River. And we just passed the detour by the right that leads to Avutu Obo. But presently, we are at Omongwa Obo. Obo is a local government area in Imo State, which was formed during the Ibrahim Babangida administration in May 1989. It was carved out of the old Etiti local government area which had its headquarters at Ishinweke. There was a video I did on my trip from Omaha to Ishinweke. So if you want to know more about Ishinweke, just go and watch that video. Obo has about 22 autonomous communities and the prominent towns in Obo include Achara, Amanze, Omoariam, Omonache, Omoago, Ehume, Omongwa, Umulowo, Odenkume, Okwoya, Amuzi, Alike, Avoto, Umuoseoche, and Umuoke. Guys, we're almost approaching Seven and Half Junction, which is at Amanze. Guys, as we approach Seven and Half Junction, um, I have to say this, that Seven and a Half Junction is like the landmark between Ahera Junction and Omaha. If you are going to Oweri, you are going to Mbise, you must pass through Seven and a Half Junction if you are coming from Omaha. But this Seven and a Half Junction is in Obo local government, like I said. Okay, guys, as we move gradually towards our journey to Mbise, uh, we, are going, we are seeing Seven and Half Junction. We are soon getting to Seven and Half Junction, as you can sight from here. We will soon reach the junction, and we are going to move towards my left, heading down now to Ahera Junction. But first, we are passing through some villages in Obo local government. Obo local government is known to produce the first executive governor of Imo State in the person of late Chief Sam Mbakwe. Other prominent politicians include Chris Okualono, Chike Okafo, Sylvester Anyanwo, Longinus Anyanwo, Kennedy E.K., and so on and so forth. If you know other prominent people in Obo local government area, which I have not mentioned in this video, help me by mentioning it in the comment section. There's a river. I always look forward to passing this river every time I'm passing through this particular road. Guys, right now we are at Umoke Obo. If you're from this part of Obo, I would like to know in the comment section as usual so as to interact with you. I have very cool friends from Umuoke Obo. I think Umuoke Obo is one of the villages in Obo that I will not easily forget its name because I have friends from here. So guys, we keep moving and we're going to meet uh, an excavation site that is leading to a road erosion along this road yeah uh, what do you think about this 
what do you think about excavation of sand along the main road it's eating deep into the road and in the years to come who knows if this might cut the main road guys we keep moving and the next village we are going to enter after umoke is umolo obo where there is the nursing school school of nursing umolo if you are a student of our school if that's your alumni please let me know also in the comment section and um so that we'll be able to interact and talk more obo people are also known for so many of their cultural festivals which of, of which the most prominent is Iwakwa. Guys, if you're from Obo or uh, you've heard anything about Iwakwa or you have been to any ceremony, any Iwakwa ceremony, let me know in the comment section. I think it comes every four, four years. At this point, guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please, I'm begging you to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up share this video out share it out to people who might be interested to watch this video and i'll be sure to appreciate it as usual guys we're moving we're still in obo local government Okay, guys, we're gradually leaving Umuoke now. And the next village after Umuoke is Umulowo Obo. We're going to see a school. Okay, that's the school. And this school is known as Okinalo. It's, it's, I think it's in between the two communities. The two communities share the school. If you are an alumni of the school, please also do your hand like this in the comment section. I want to hear from you. I want to know more. Guys, we keep moving. And now, we are gradually entering Umulo Obo. Obo people also have other cultural festivals apart from Iwakwa. This include the Ebuenko and the Epo Mbomos of festivals, also by Obo people. There are several tourist centers in Obo. In case you are a visitor in Obo, you find yourself in Obo and you want to tour the village, there are tourist centers like the Green Colored Abadaba Lake, the Iyuku and Omoarian Game Reserve Center, which has live monkeys in it guys we are at umulo obo all these places we're crossing now are umulo and umulo has a nursing center i think i've mentioned this earlier has a nursing school in it if you went to that nursing school if you passed through that nursing school let's also know in the comment section if you know anywhere here if you've passed through this place before or you've been to obo let me also know in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps with the ROG algorithm like I've earlier said. That's the Mercy Hospital. Yeah, that's the Mercy Hospital in Obo. Unfortunately, <laughs> there is no signpost. Guys, we keep moving along ago remember that this journey we're actually heading to ahera junction which is in mbc guys we're actually going to mbc like i said but of course we must have to pass through obo and obo is also a prominent a prominent community in emo stage emo state sorry okay guys Move.
guys we are still in obowu local government area of Imo state and very soon we get to Are, Umariam. And from Umariam, we are going to enter Ikenanzizi, Ubu, where we'll see Boma, Achingali, and other villages all in Ikenanzizi. Of course, we'll pass through the Ogogoranya, the popular Ogogoranya, all along this road. If it's something you like to see, Please keep watching this video and while at it, if you've forgotten to give the thumbs up, just go now and give the thumbs up. As we move, we're getting to the local government, Obo local government. That's the gate we just passed now and then we keep moving. We keep moving. What have you heard about Obo people? What have you heard about Mbise people? Of course, I would like to know in the comment section. I'd like to know if it, if there are positive things or negative things. It doesn't matter. Let Just let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond to you. As you can see from the videos, the land is green, showing that the rainy season has started and farmers are entering into the farm. Ubu people are known to be very hardworking, especially in farming activities. Guys, Ubu people, they normally bring Uba to Umwa. I think they are the best in that. They are also known to be great in fishing because they have so many rivers around them, especially the Imo River. There are other occupations that you can find an Ubo man comfortably in, especially in business, in, in so many areas, guys. So, guys, we are still moving, and very soon we are going to get to Ogugaranya. All those places that we are passing now are all in Umwaria. Okay, guys, that's the popular Ogogoranya Junction. Guys, this is Ikenanzizi Obu, and this is Boma in Ikenanzizi. Let me know if you are from here. Let me know if you are from around here. If you visited all these places that I keep mentioning, please raise your hands in the comment section. Let me know how you felt. If you felt at home visiting here, that is if you are a stranger, or how you feel generally about Obo people. After here, we will soon be getting to Achingali Junction. 
But unfortunately, guys, the Achi is no longer there as it used to be in those days. Around five to six years back, it was it was cut down. Achi is a very big tree. And it was quite prominent that you couldn't pass this road without noticing the Achi. But it is no longer there. Although all these places are still called Achingali Obo. Okay, guys. That is Achingali Obo. That's Achingali Obo. Now, after the Achingali Ubo, there is a detour by the left, and that detour incidentally leads to Mbise. Yes, although officially this main road is Ubo. Yes, that's the detour. Now, I'm going to stop a bit to show you guys that main road. Yeah, that is it here. Yeah. This road leads to Obizi, Ejudo. Umelawa Itu Amomara Chokoneze and all of them are in Azin Heat, the local government of MBC. Guys, remember we're still in Obo local government. And very soon we'll be saying bye bye to Obo and then we'll be entering MBC. Ah. Country five, my home people, I salute. If you are from Umbise, just do your hand like this. Do your hand very well in the comment section. No, don't be shy. Umbise people are not known to be shy. Guys, we'll soon be leaving Obo local government. Okay, guys, as we are finally leaving Obo, local government of Imo State, and gradually moving towards Mbise, the first village that will be greeting us is Agunese in Ahia Zumbise, local government of Imo State. As earlier mentioned in this video, I, Ugala Chenaza Gladys, is proudly an Mbise girl, and therefore I have to welcome you specially to my village with a bibo chokoneze. Okay, guys, I like I told you, the first village that we entered from Umuahia towards Ahera Junction is Agunese. And Agunese is in Ahia's local government of Ahia's Mbise local government of Imo State. First, I have to tell you a little bit about Mbise. Mbise is a region in Imo State in the southeastern Nigeria with a population density of over 1,000 people per square meter. The name Mbise was derived from five clans, Abaja, Ahiara, Ekwerazo, Ezinite, Nokuvoro. 
with three local governments, Abombise, Ahiazo, and Ezenite. Ezenite people are mostly Catholics, 55% Catholics, 35% Protestants, and other regions. Other religions make up the rest. Some of our cultural traditional ceremonies have survived the Western influence, like the eight day Ahiajoko festival honored the Diam deity, the annual August 15th New Yam festival. We also have the Ojimbise celebrated every 1st of January each year. Guys, Ojimbise women are noted for their fertility. That is why you see most Ojimbise uh, people with large families. Why? Because in the olden days, there used to be what we call the Igwe Wuku. Any woman that has above 10 children, the ceremony of a Wuku is normally done for such women. Therefore, many women struggled to be able to have above 5 children, above 10 children rather. Guys, we are moving towards Afobwe. That is Ogwe village, where we have the popular Afobwe market. This is known for selling of meat. If you want to buy meat in NBC, of course you should know to head down to Afobwe village. I am talking about NBC excitedly because, like I said, it is my village. Guys, if it is your village, if you are from any part of NBC, of course, you know what to do. Just do your hand, raise your hand in the comment section. I don't think we'll be able to finish or exhaust the entire NBC village in one video. Therefore, guys, I'm going to do this video probably in two or three parts. But if you want it, if you, if you want me to continue the series on NBC, Please let me know in the comment section or you can send me an email chinazaugala at gmail.com Let me know you want a continuation. There are other things I have to tell us about NBC. NBC people have produced notable people in the society. NBC people have been known to do great things. Of course, this is not without its negativity. We face so much negativity. But there has never been an NBC man that has gone down beyond be, be, below because of negativity or bad things being said to us. I don't want to magnify the bad things being said to us or make it relevant by discussing it so much. So many people have discussed it. Even here on YouTube, last week someone still discussed NBC people and what she feels they are known for. But for me, I'm here all for the positivity. Okay, guys, we're moving. Okay, guys, we are at the Obwe market. The Obwe, the Uno, we are at your comp the motto. <laughs> guys, we are passing through Afobwe. This place, you see restaurants, you see eateries, you see restrooms where you can rest, especially if you are coming from a long journey and you need to rest your legs. Uh, there are also motor parks. You're going to see cars going to Owere or going towards Omaha. As we move down to Ahera Junction, guys, I'll terminate this video at Ahera Junction. And like I said earlier, if you want me to continue, if there are other things you would love to know about Mbise people, if there are areas, especially in Mbise, that you want me to visit, just tell me, just say it in the comment section. Share this video to people that might love it. And don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. 
and also do not forget to subscribe like i earlier said please subscribe subscribe to my channel and i'll be sure to bring you videos <laughs>